Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about the static and dynamic analysis and we will see what is the difference between these two analyses. When we talk about the static analysis, it means the force is constant or static throughout the analysis. When we talk about the dynamic analysis, the force varies with respect to time and frequency. The example of static analysis is person sitting on chair. Since the weight of the person is going to be constant or static, thus we can say the force on the chair is constant or we can say the magnitude of force F on the chair is not changing with time. The example of dynamic analysis is the person jumping on diving board. Since this person is jumping over this diving board, we can say the force on this diving board is continuously changing with time and because of the force is continuously changing with time the displacement of this diving board is also changing with respect to time so we can write the magnitude of force f on the diving board is changing with time in static analysis since the force f on chair is not changing with time we can write it as force is not a function of time or we can say force is independent of time you can see the load versus time graph is a straight line which is showing that the load is constant with respect to time because of this constant load there will be a constant displacement and because of this constant displacement there will not be any velocity and acceleration in the system when we talk about the dynamic analysis since the force f on the board is changing with time we can write it as force is a function of time or we can say the force is time dependent if you see this animation in enlarged video you can see the force on this diving board is continuously changing with time when the person jump over this the force is maximum and because of that it is having the maximum deformation when the person jumps over it but after some time because of some damping and stiffness of this diving board the diving board stops fluctuating so we can say because of the continuously changing force there is continuously changing displacement and because of that displacement the velocity and acceleration will also be there when we see the load versus time graph in dynamic analysis we can see a sinusoidal curve in which the load is continuously fluctuating or changing with time so in dynamic analysis because of the changing displacement we will have the velocity and acceleration also for the thorough understanding of the static and dynamic analysis we need to understand the governing equation of motion for that we have a spring mass and damper system the mass m is suspended by a spring of stiffness k and a damper of damping coefficient c the external force f is applied on the mass which will displace the mass m in downward direction the internal resistance force to vibrate mass m with acceleration x double dot is known as the inertial force inertial force is the product of the mass matrix and the acceleration matrix the internal resistance force due to the stiffness of the spring is equals to the product of the stiffness matrix and the displacement matrix damping is the energy loss in absence of damping the system will keep vibrating forever the internal resistance force due to damping is nothing but the damping force which is the product of damping coefficient and the velocity so according to the governing equation of motion the total external force f is the sum of the inertial force damping force and spring force this governing equation of motion will change according to the type of the analysis we will see how it will change in the static and dynamic analysis when we talk about the static analysis the constant force because of the constant mass produces some constant displacement x after that the system becomes static because of that there will no acceleration and velocity in the system therefore when we talk about the governing equation of static analysis the inertial component and the damping component of force is going to be zero and we will get the final governing equation for static analysis is the product of stiffness matrix 
and displacement matrix is equals to the external force. When we talk about the dynamic analysis, you can see in the animations, since the displacement is changing with time because of the time varying load, there will be some velocity and acceleration in the overall system. So we will get the governing equation of, for the dynamic analysis is the sum of the inertial damping and stiffness force is equals to the time varying load. The solution time for the static analysis is going to be less as compared to the dynamic analysis where the solution time is more. For a static analysis the output are stress and displacement. For dynamic analysis the output are stress, displacement, velocity and acceleration with respect to time and frequency. This is the thorough comparison of the static and dynamic analysis. Here we have understand what is static and dynamic analysis and what are the governing equation for them. In the next video we will talk about the linear and non-linear analysis. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel for more such important videos. Thanks for watching.